Yo, yo, I'm Mixed Mars and Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, uh, not a big content video, really, no, if all, in all fairness. I had a few items turn up from the Amazon wish list, which is fantastic. And I've got to have a bit of a tidy up today in the old shack because literally it's, 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 it's getting to where it used to be. And uh, I don't like that. Um, so I've got lots to do. Just been on the phone to Mr. Lawnmower Jones. He's just been on the phone to me. Uh, he's got his own YouTube channel. Go and check him out, Mr. Um, Lawnmower Jones. He does a lot of vintage stuff, lots of vintage stuff. And he is also a, uh, a founding member, I'd like to, I'd like to say, of the, uh, the old Lawnmower Club, of which I also am, uh, am a member. So, yes, Mr. Lawnmower Jones has just rang me up and he said, Mick, any chance I can come down with you and do a video with you? It'd be lovely. And I said, yeah, you can do that. Um, so we're on about doing a video, me and Mr. Jones, and we're going to think about pulling out the old Ransom Marquis. Yes, I still have it after about four years. Uh, the Ransom Marquis is still here. Uh, it's in my little, what, what I call the vintage shed, which I haven't been able to get into for about three years. So it's been in the vintage shed for about three years. So it looks like we're going to be pulling out the Ransom Marquis and uh, doing a little collaboration video together, me and Mr. Um, Lorma Jones. Go and check him out on YouTube. He is there. Uh, he's got a little tiny channel and he is trying to work hard at it. And um, you'll learn a lot from him. In fact, you'll probably learn more from him than he will from me. So go and check out Mr. Lorma Jones. Um, so I've been on the phone to him, and um, yeah, so today is going to be tidy up day, because I've got a few bits of kit coming in for review. As I said, I've got the, the new Cobra Fortis battery-powered machine that's coming in. I've got the new Morator fully remote-controlled lawnmower coming in. I've got the brand new Luba coming in. These are all confirmed. And I've also got a Cobra um, electric scarifier coming in as well. So I've got one or two machines coming in for review, so I need to make sure that my, my shed is nice and tidy and uh, I can bring all the bits of, bring the bits of kit in, make sure they're stored nice and safe and what have you, and go from there. But at the moment, I've been working very, very hard. I was two-stroking yesterday. Um, you would have seen videos on um, a Honda Hedge Trimmer, which, which is out in my garden now, and I just want to run that up, make sure that does actually run. And uh, I worked on something else as well yesterday, what I work on. It wasn't a steel blower. Oh, I don't know what it was now. Anyway, whatever it was, it's, it's, it's here. Um, so I'm going to check that out. I've also got a Honda uh, Lawn Flight Pro uh, just coming, or Honda Lawn Flight, yeah, yeah, Lawn Flight Pro, that's coming. I've purchased that. Um, Boat says it all runs, uh, but the drive doesn't work. So I have somewhere here in my arsenal. Here it is here, in one of the packages. I just sneaked it in there. Yeah. I've preempted what it is, and I've purchased um, one of the new um, clutches for the Kaz Stroke Lawn Flights. So it's in here somewhere. Here it is. There's a new clutch. That's only, that's only 25 quid. That was cheap. I couldn't believe that. So um, I should have bought two or three of those. Um, so uh, I've got that to come up and do. So I will be doing a Lawn Flight Pro at some point. I've also got a nice Hater 56 2020 model with no drive as well, no output. So that video will be coming up soon. So I'll be working on one of those. I've not done one of those before, so that could be good. But anyway, apart from that, I'm, I'm waffling. Um, someone has purchased me some bits off my Amazon wish list. So the first big box, and we, you know who Mick likes a big box. Yep, hello. <laughs> Camera's gone for a Burton. Someone has sent me, wow, someone has sent me, not one, but two big packs of blue roll. So whoever that was, there's no note in there. I did check. Oh, hang on, there's a receipt. There's, there's an invoice. What does it say? It's bought off of eBay, which is weird, because I don't, I, don't, I don't do eBay shop. No idea. Uh, Blue rolls, yeah, da, 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 message, uh, a message from, no, 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 no. Anyway, someone is, oh, yeah, from David. David, it's you. Cheers, buddy boy. David, David always sends me blue roll and rags. Uh, he does it, he does it like every six months. So David, you are an absolute star, man. Ever since day one, you've always kept me in blue roll and rags. Absolute, absolute scholar and a gentleman. So I won't, I won't say your surname, but David, thank you very much. It is really, really appreciated. Not many people do that, and sometimes it's not about having the tools people send me. It, you know, it's about having having the, the, the usable stuff, stuff that I use every day. WD-40 is one of them. Um, so I'm assuming, one would like to assume, unless David has sent me his entire wardrobe for last year's last year's collection, the bag was open, Dave. I think this was Dave. Let me see if I can find a bag, an, an invoice in here. I don't think I can. But there's a bag of rags here, and that, that sounds like Dave. I can't see an invoice. There's no invoice. Not what I can see. But I'm assuming that was you too, Dave. You sent me a rather nice looking um, stripey uh, t-shirt, pair of um, pair of Nana's knickers by the looks of it. And yeah, just a big box. 
lovely big box of rags. And I, I use rags a lot. Where's my dog? Can I put this on my dog? Um, nice big bag of rags. I'm assuming that was you, Dave. Cheers, mate. You are a star, and I, I really do appreciate her because um, not many people do that. And now I was just getting down to about my last three rolls of uh, blue roll, and now I've got six, 12, 19 rolls of blue roll. That'll keep me going for, for the first next couple of three or four months anyway, because I use blue roll a lot. Um, so does Mrs. P, she comes down for a bit of blue roll for the windows sometimes. But uh, anyway, I've got more now. So that was that. And then somebody also sent me this little package. Now there was a love letter in here. Box says Dewalt. So this is off my Amazon wish list. Here we go. Little love letter. Um, a gift from Kevin. Um, from your friend, Lazy Grandpa's Garage. From Kevin. Cheers, Kev. Kev has sent me, this was off my Amazon wishes, a nice little Dewalt box. And in this Dewalt box is, look at that. Is that just, is that not, not like Christmas? That is lovely. We've got a hundred times Dewalt bits here. We've got some masonry bits. We've got some metal bits and some wood bits. Some little bits, um, some little tiny um, nut runner ones, extension bar, hole cutting discs, and some long extension ones too. Look, look at that, look, it's just lush, man. It's lush. See, people send me this stuff out of the goodness of their heart. Now, I will say, my other box of drill bits and bobs, where is it, down here? Uh, here it is. So, you know, stuff breaks over time, doesn't it, you know? And uh, this is what one I got bought from Amazon, which is a couple of years back. Look at the state of that now, look, look it's just, just bits everywhere. So I put this box away in the drawer, um, and that can be my backup, because now I've got a nice brand new Dewalt one, which um, my mate, what is his name? Lazy Grandpa's Garage has sent me a lovely little Dewalt box. Look at that, isn't that just lush? Yellow and black. Don't need a red and black one. Yellow and black's lovely. So cheers, much appreciated Lazy Grandpa, much appreciated Buddy Boy. So lots of presents, lots of gifts. So I have got to tidy up today. Today is gonna to be a tidy up day. The bin man has just been and um, oh, I need to clear the bench off and just work a bit that way. So I've got one, two, three, four cylinder mowers here. Still got that old Cobra lawn mower, but you know that brand new Cobra lawn mower that Cobra sent me to give away? It's still here, I need to give it away. So keep tuned up for videos on how to win a brand spanking new lawn mower that's only got about 30, 30 minutes use on it. I'll be giving away that this year. Um, I was waiting for, for the spring to get here, but I will be giving that away. So I need to drag that out at some point and give, give that away because I don't need it. I've got loads of mowers. Do you know why? Because I mix mowers and mower man. But I've got loads of mowers, I don't need it, I don't want it. Well, I do want it, but I can't have it because someone said to give it away. So I've got to give it away. And um, whether or not I just give it away on the channel, you know, to like, like not raffle it, but sort of, you know, do a, do a, do a thing, a uh, 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 what's the name? Or I find someone who desperately needs a lawnmower um, that is really going to need it. So someone like maybe going out cutting grass and trying to earn a living or maybe a charity. So if you've got any ideas who would like to have a Cobra lawnmower, give me a shout, Put, give me a little email. And uh, if I can find a, a, somebody who, who, who needs a lawnmower that would benefit from one, I'd much rather go down and give it to them in person and uh, hand it over to them and say, there you go, that is yours. I, I might, I'd rather do that, I think. I'll right, help you guys. Let me know what you think. But the Cobra Scarifier that's coming, the electric one, uh, Cobra said, if I want to give that away, I'll give that away and all. So there'll be a Scarifier coming up very soon as well, which you're going to have. Right, that's that. Um, so tied up day today, just gonna walk out in the shed in the garden, I wanna check the Honda hedge trimmer, which sort of video, make sure it's still running, because you always check a four stroke, two stroke um, piece of equipment. So I just touched touch my, oh, it's my dog. Come here, Pip. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. I thought someone just touched my leg. It was you, sweetheart. What are you doing touching my leg? There she is. There's my little tiny Pip. Say hi, Pippy. There she is. She's a good girl. So we're gonna go out and check the uh, Honda hedge trimmer and also this lawn flight. And um, you're wagging your tail, I can hear it. Yeah, thank you very much for that kiss. That's a lovely kiss. She's a lovely little dog. She's a lovely little dog. Um, well, um, just try that and uh, go from there. So, yeah, if this is your first time watching Mixed Mother's and Mother Man and Little Pippy Dog with Riley Boy, then hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be notified next time we have another video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's get outside and check this Honda Lawn Flight and this Honda hedge trimmer. So you can't make sure they, don't, they still don't work and uh, check out the drive issue. Right, so... Out on the old lawn, got the Lawn Fight Pro 553 <coughs> and the Honda four stroke hedge trimmer, which I have tried to use this yesterday and it, and it cut the hedge absolutely beautifully. But it's for next day. We need to make sure it's all working. 
So I choke it, turn it on, give it a pull. Off choke. If it don't run, it ain't no good, is it? Boom. That is a lovely bit of kit, is that little Honda trimmer, uh, trimmer. Right, this is one that I picked up off a fella. He's a gardener, he's a, he's a gardener. Um, I picked it up, where did I pick this up? It was out of the way somewhere. I think it's Brighton Way, I think. Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> I've had a little look at it. The pool course ran the wrong way, not that it's life or death, because it should be around here. Um, but he did say it all run, but uh, it's been stored for a while and also um, the drive don't work. So I've got videos on these on how to do the drives. So check out, if you put in mixed mowers and the word CAS lawnmower or mixed mowers Honda gearbox, it'll come up. It's a two part one on there of me stripping these down fully. Right, let's see if this kind of to work. That so starts up all right. Let's see if the rotor clutch works. And also the drive. So rotor clutch first. Drive. No. So this is suffering with the renowned, let me just turn that fuel off, with the renowned gearbox issues. And there's a hole in the bottom plate, which is not much copper, and it's going to need to be sorted, but the rolls actually appear to be quite loose. I reckon them rollers are going to come off absolutely lovely. So I'm going to do a video on that. Um, I might have to get old my man Mendit man and see if he hasn't got a spare guard for one of those Honda gearboxes because they do they do rot out and that's why they have problems but, but the rollers feel really really um, loose so hopefully with the rollers come apart on that and uh, if they do come apart then I can put the new clutch in no problem at all new clutch in button it all up new bearings uh, all singing all dancing go for me I do have I think three of those I bought some off my friend Gabriel one two Three. I've got three more of them here. Three more Hondas around here. Support to put the job lot. Um, because he's he's not keen on doing the um doing the rollers on me. He's not a bit lot of people are because they came a bit of a pig, but they just took a bit of perseverance. Be prepared to work on your Honda all day if you're doing the rollers and gearboxes. But because that actually feels quite slack in there, um that's quite a good thing because uh, I think all the bearings will probably lose on as well. So all got new bearings, and that's bearings for the end. Uh, inner roller bearings as well, it needs to be done as well. Uh, I've got the new clutch already, and then we'll take the gearbox apart and look on that. So that'll be coming up. That's that one. Where's my dog? Come here, dog, dog. Pip, pip, come on. So I've got that one, nice Honda Pro. And then this one here, this one turned up the other week. Bloke wanted me to look at it for him. Um, it's a 2020. Uh, Hater 56 um, and the drive is really really weak now when I first got it off of him I tested it all up and um, the drive was really strong but as I tested and tested and tested it the drive become really weak so the bloke said he's had a commercial from, from day one and uh, he said um, how much is it going to cost if we sort of put it right and I said look ballpark figures you know they're, they're they're not cheap full stop and they're a really common problem and because you use it commercially then uh, you could have problems with other stuff you know three years down the line with it so well, it's been going for three years so 
Just try and fire this old cookie up onto, onto that. Uh, there's no dead man on this one. All the mate choke. So what's a bit of a service by sound of it? Drive, it does work. Right, the drive does work. But, as you bring the drive in, you can hold it still. Well, I'm just holding that. So the drive does work, and the chains are all moving, but I notice that the roller is not moving on this side, and it's trying to spin on that side. So it's this side actually failed. Um, got BBC as well on it. Which is a nice little touch from, uh, from the hater. Yep, come on here. Look out, come on. So it does drive, but it's just really slow to respond. And it's the end caps and bits. I spoke to my mate Doug over at Dizzy Lizzy's. He's got channel too, go and check Dougie out. Um, yeah, my mate Doug over at Dizzy Lizzy's. He's got a channel. Go and check him out. He's great. Um, he's, uh, I rang mate the other day, old Doug, and I think he's had a bit of a, bit of a one, man part, one, one man party. He, he, he was on it. Um, I hope you had a nice time, Dougie. Um, but uh, yeah, he said he, that, that's a really common thought. I've not done a lot of his newer haters, but uh, we'll have a look, shall we? We'll take it apart, have a look. You know, you know me. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not scared to take things apart. It's the putting back together that's a bloody problem. So I've got that one, and then I've also got this one. Now, you guys wouldn't have seen this one, um, but I might need your help with this one, because this one here, now I picked up off, off of uh, eBay, right? Bit of a gamble, really. And my mate Pete, do you know my mate Pete? And my mate Pete, he got a BR500, right? My mate Pete picked this one up for me. I paid for it. He picked it up. It's a wee bang. Really, really nice machine. 750 EX um, engine on top. Nice machine. Really, it's, it's all there. It's lovely. But when uh, I got it, a bloke said on the advert, uh, doesn't run, sold as seen, rady, rady, rady. Um, so I thought, quick carburetor clean, must be. I checked him out and it, it, was, it was a personal used machine. It wasn't, hadn't been used commercial, not that I can see. But this one here, uh, slow, fast, slow, fast. That's a throttle, yeah. That's a dead man, I think that's, that's a dead man. Yeah, dead man. Pete Clemmer carb on it as well. But this one, it don't want it. Now I've had it running and I can confirm the engine is knackered. It's got rod knock. Uh, it, when it gets hot, it's, the engine slows right down. Uh, so I'm after another engine for this. 750EX. The numbers are, get ready for his numbers, guys, because you can help me out. Right, the numbers are 100602-0030H as Hotel 8, and then it's got 14101. I'll do it again, because I might muck that up. Right, number is 100602 0030 H8, and then it's a 14101088. Now, I don't mind buying a brand new engine for that. Brand new engine on top of that, that'd be good to go. This is a commercial one, not a cheapie. Um, so it's got um, power drive, dead man, Vert, uh, uh, variable speed, throttle control, it's all there. So yeah, I want a 750 EX um, engine for that. If anyone's got one that's running, wants to do a trade, give me a shout. Right, so there you go, quick little video on what I've been up to, what's been going on, and uh, what have you, what people have purchased uh, for me off my Amazon wish list. And, oh, who's that? Oh, hello, Riley boy, what are you up to? Nothing. Nothing? Where have you been? Just nothing. Just nothing? I, I've got Millie, got Millie as well, there's Millie, and there's Josh Bosch, you're all here, look. Where have you, you been, guys? We went to see my granddad. You went to see your granddad. Did you see granddad? No. No. What's that? We did a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. We met Gherkin the puppy. You met Gherkin the puppy. Yeah. Who's Gherkin? What? Who's Gherkin? Gherkin? Yeah. Lenny's dog. She licked me. She licked you? You do it, Dad. Oh, look, let me show you guys. Oh, you haven't got any funny fat guys in the middle of you. Okay, <laughs> just need to make sure we're Millie yeah. and Josh going together. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's flat at the bottom. Yep. Like, uh, no. Riley boy, look. I can't hear it. Yeah, it's right. Here's a little puppy. I'm gonna play, play again. Gherkin. It's Gherkin, licking Riley. You got, you got clean ears now? Have you look in your ears? You have a clean now, yeah. <laughs> but I'll get back to Milton. You've probably got dirty photographs on there. Um, 
So me and Millie, so Millie, Mills, don't go out. So last night, Millie was out on a beer last night, wasn't he, Mills? No, in the day. No, whoa, 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 whoa. You, co you come round here drunk as a skunk last night. In the day. Yeah, and she wasn't, and she wasn't drunk. She wasn't drunk. And then you went back out again, didn't you? Yeah. Back to Arundel. Yeah. Dirty stop out. Her dad called her, her, dad called her a dirty stop out. <laughs> Did. And then this morning you turned up with what? Bacon. And a baguette. Bacon and baguette this morning. So we all oh, made we all made bacon and eggs, didn't we? Bacon and egg, French stick today. Lummy. That was lovely. And um, so what have you been saying? Just go see your granddad. How's your granddad? Fine. Yeah, he's good, he's wasn't all right. he? Yeah. Did he enjoy himself? Yeah. Yeah. Riley's not very well at the moment. He's got a bit of a cough cold, isn't he, Riley? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. All right, guys. Get out of my shed. Right. So, um, quick little video there for you. Where's my Riley? Is it, Riley, are you still there? Yeah, good boy. Um, Quick little video of it. Uh, yeah, I had, I'd had parcels. Yeah, just, it's not no, nothing, nothing of interest to you. Nothing in there for you, just Daddy. Uh, my mate David bought me a nice big pair. Look at these. Look, bought me a pair of Nana's underpants. <laughs> yeah, they're Nana's. Look, they're, they are Nana's pants. It's my T-shirt. That's not your T-shirt. It is my T-shirt. It's not your T-shirt. <laughs> it's not your T-shirt. <laughs> See, it's, it's, they're just rags from the shop. <laughs> right. So, thank you very much to David for um, buying me my rags thank and. You. and and my blue roll, and obviously lazy grandpa for my Dewalt bits. Um, there are a couple of mowers that I've got coming up. If anyone has got an engine for that wee bang, give me a shout. Um, or have a look, do a bit of research for me, find me the best price for a brand spanking new engine. Uh, leave me a link down below or email me, and my email will be down there. Leave me an email of where the cheapest engine is for that. Hit a bell, do it in a minute. Yeah, do it in a minute. Yeah, look, put a cap on right. I've got a nice EP cap there. Look, look, that's from Wayne. Actually, that's from Jake. Jake sent me it. Daddy. My mate Jake sent me that. Daddy. My mate Jake did it. Yeah. It's what? No, no, this is Old Lawnmower Club. <laughs> we'll just swap there. You want a green one? All right, okay. <laughs> Have you missed him? You can't get nothing. You can't. You can't get nothing. You can't get nothing done when he's here. Nothing. So, um, so that's that. So all good. So yeah, I've got a Honda Pro video coming up. We have got um, Cobra brand new Cobra Fort is coming. We have got um, robotic lawnmowers, remote controlled lawnmowers. We've got um, possible uh, Lawnmower Jones coming down to do a Ransom Marquis video with me, a nice vintage video. He knows a lot about his, his Lawnmowers, man. He does know a lot. And also, he's going to take away some cinnamons and he's sharpening, so I hope he's going to bring his van because I've got loads. So that's that. So apart from that, um, I've got to now have a tidy up today. That's, that's my day. Have a good old tidy up. Get it all cleaned yeah. out. Get it all sorted. Yeah, it's a big mess, Riley. And you've not even been down here. I've made this mess all by myself. Mm -hmm. um, get this all done. And then uh, off shopping, get something for dinner. What are we for dinner tonight? I don't know if you order one. No, not order. You know, we ordered. I had Chinese. Like, what did you have last night? I had Chinese. What did you have? Burger King, didn't you? Yeah, we need. Yeah, you had burger. I had Chinese last night. It's lush. Um, so that's that. So yeah, all good. So just a quick little what we've been up to, mucking about video. And um, I'm at work tonight. So oh, no, I've got to do work tonight. And then back up tomorrow, back down here, and uh, bits and pieces. So. Next on my list today, we've got to look at the um, the steel leaf blower that I picked up as part of a job lot that all runs. Just got just got to run it up and test it, and uh, should be happy with that. And um, and that, that's all good. So yeah, there you go. Quick little video for Mixed Mother Man Man and the Riley Boy with my little Millie and Josh turned up as well as a little end treat for you. Where's Nana? No one's seen Nana for weeks. So that's it. So if you like this little video, of Mixed Mother Man Man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell. Yeah. Uh, that way you'll be told next time I upload a video. And we look forward to seeing this episode of Mixed Mouse very, very soon. But until then, guys, guys, much more importantly, take it easy. Take it easy.